Vanessa Montero. What's up? What's up? How you doing? So, Aquarius, you guys, this is your uh, mid to late August going into September love reading. And let me just tell you, I was really excited for you. I had uh, some energy. I Look, I'm getting excited now just telling you. Okay, so this is the energy I was getting. You guys, you all are dealing with somebody where you cannot believe how well this is going. You can't believe it. You're like, sorry, boobs. You can't believe like, wow, this person is still here. This person hasn't left the picture. This person is still into me. Uh, this person is doing everything they can to get your attention, it seems like showering you with gifts uh taking you out uh taking you shopping some of you uh i also got the energy of just showing up they're showing up some of you could have recently changed your hair i got that um or you need to change your hair <laughs> it's time to change your hairstyle i don't know um don't ask me i almost never change mine but yeah You guys are feeling the need to zhuzh it up a little bit because you're like, wow, if I had known that this person was going to be so attentive, um, I would have gotten, you know, my normal sexy on and you guys didn't have to get your sexy on. That's the whole point. You didn't have to do anything for this person to come in. This person is like, you are a star, baby. And you will be treated as such. I saw someone with a lot of money, a lot of money. And they are kind of immature in how they show you they like you because their way of showing you they like you is to spend their money on you. But it's not a bad thing in this case because they really do adore you and they just want to show you affection. They want to show it to you. They feel like you don't... You guys are being a little emotionally detached. What's new? Um... No disrespect. But, uh, yeah, it's like they feel like, what can I do to get Aquarius's attention? Like, how? This is what they like. Like, like they want to know everything you like so they can get it for you. Or, And they're like, well, this is how I'll get them hanging out with me. Because you guys are always willing. Listen, you guys are always willing to give somebody a try. Okay? Fair try. But... In this scenario, you did not see this coming. You did not know that this person, you just thought maybe it would be another date, but now it's like 10 dates later or something, and you're still getting these gifts, and you're still getting these attentions, and you're liking this person, and you're like, oh, wow, okay. So really positive energy, by the way, Aquarius. Really positive energy. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're just going to go straight to the tarot here. Since you're the star in the major arcana, I'm provide hope healing and light in the darkest of times your positive positive outlook uh i'm gonna use a star man tarot this is actually a tarot deck by the art an artist that worked with david bowie so he worked with david bowie to create the legendary david bowie to create this deck and it is here wow look the freaking sun you all are happy wow so the, or you know what things have finally been illuminated to you like you this is what you want you you've been awakened to your own happiness you have been awakened and exposed to a type of energy or type of experience that you have never seen before you thought you had seen it all right the sun came out and showed you, you ain't seen nothing yet baby look at that burst of light that's gorgeous you ain't seen nothing yet All right, we got the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Oh, okay. I'll show you all the cards in a minute. Let me get them all out first. Forgive me if I keep pulling out my shirt. It's because, you know, movies. Uh, four cups. One more card for Aquarius. Oh, okay. More than one card came out. We'll take them all. That's on top.
So, Aquarius, you got the sun. You got the nine of pentacles. The six of wands. Isn't this that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. The four of cups. The wheel. And then all these cards jumped out with the wheels, so let's check them out. You got the world, the ace of swords, and the hierophant. Before we even get into this, y'all, this is gorgeous and gorgeous energy. Look, I mean, look at all the light in these cards. Look at all this yellow, the solar plexus energy. So you all are receiving now. You all are receiving and the manifestations now of all of your hard work. Okay, look at that too. All that yellow energy is that solar plexus. Receiving the fruits of your labor. It's probably this Aquarius moon. This full moon in Aquarius puts you in the spotlight. It puts you in the spotlight and it also lets somebody know that you're the one they want to shower their, with attention. That's, wow. Okay, so the sun. The sun and the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is feeling good, feeling great. I call this a personal best card. This is your personal best, right? This is when you've achieved all of your material delights that you, um, or at least you're on your way to. You're single, you're independent, or you're just strong and independent. You don't have to be single, but you definitely can be uh, more of an independent type. And this is because you're working at your goals and you're achieving them and you're comfortable with your creature comforts, okay? getting your life all set up exactly the way you want it to be so here you are single or here you all are independent i think i'm i definitely believe i'm reading for a single person uh a single aquarius and then here you go somebody comes in and puts you on a pedestal and recognizes you with the six of, six of wands this is literally somebody making feeling like you're a trophy and they've won a prize just by being with you and then you have the four of cups and the wheel okay so this is longing for somebody or something that you no longer have or you have what you have but you want something more i don't think this is you i think this is the other person and then you have the wheel this is divine timing at play this is divinely orient orient orientated <laughs> cannot speak this is divinely orchestrated okay this is the wheel turning in your favor this, this brings good luck and this makes a, it brings a rapid change to a situation for the better okay this is also um represented by the fixed signs as aquarius is a fixed sign there's something big about to happen for you something real big with the sun and the six of wands and the six of wands the sun and the wheel some of you might be getting famous some of you might be straight up becoming famous a lot of exposure a, put on a pedestal for what you do perhaps with work since the nine of pentacles is here perhaps you started a business and the business is now being on display that's just some extra messages for you all but definitely that's coming through some type of world some of it could be online some of y'all could be blowing up online because you have the world here the ace of swords which is also a card of victory you got two cards of victories here and and the uh the hierophant so some of you could be actually becoming um a world-renowned teacher teacher um a religious guru uh motivational speaker um you could be getting some of you could be getting a new job within the government some of you could be getting here we go some of you could be uh some of you could really 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 be stepping up and getting elected to office somewhere i don't know if there's any elections going on or you can get a prominent job within the government that puts you on display you could be the spokesperson because you have you have the sun uh i'll say that because you have the sun with the six of wands and the world and the ace of swords and the hierophant so i'm gonna hold all these up just so you can understand um And this is not even this is a love read but this is what's ringing through so i gotta tell you this is what's coming through you guys got exposure right here okay with the sun exposure in the government or some church or institutions that represents is represented by the hierophant right so exposure in some type of higher organization um higher learning and then he, again you have ace of swords a victory with the six of wands here of 
recognition, a trophy, another victory, okay? And this can also represent the government or official things, official correspondence, right? Okay, and then you have the world here, so worldwide. So worldwide exposure in regards to teaching or higher learning, uh, in regards to government work, in regards to being put on a pedestal for your talents and winning at something. One, some of you win a winning awards. Wow, a lot of achievement here. This moon energy was good for y'all, wasn't it? This uh, full moon in Aquarius really brought in some change for you guys because I know that because the wheel of fortune is here. Okay, so y'all got in some big some big changes. Is this haven't hasn't happened? Get ready. And it probably hasn't yet, just simply because the wheel is here, but it doesn't just, this is amazing energy. That's amazing energy. All right. So somebody realized that you're single and they're not having it. <laughs> Straight up. They are not having it. You have, um, the six of wands here, right? Somebody putting you on a pedestal. Okay. And then you have the world okay so this is gonna be somebody you met online or that lives at a distance and that's why you probably have to when you see them they shower you with gifts and things because they want to show you they they have only so much time to show you because they don't see you that often um but it's closing out one chapter of your life where things things you close out a chapter of your life i can see here where people weren't recognizing you for the star that you are aquarius they weren't they weren't seeing that you putting all this work in in your life um some of you have very prominent jobs where you help people or you a lot of like uh government work or uh something um of, uh well isn't aquarius a sign of revolution and new world order so maybe some of you have very prominent jobs where you uh worked really really hard to help the public in some way because the world can also denote public right world stage in front of people and nobody's been putting in nobody's recognized you you're like i'm just here doing all this i'm just here all doing all this and i'm doing all this and nobody cares right but now that's changing that is changing with the wheel the wheel changes turns up it turns everything upside down to the better and literally literally i see somebody might want to close out a chapter of you being single okay okay somebody might be trying to close out a chapter of you being single and they have something they want to tell you with this truth with this ace of swords they have something they want to communicate to you in official capacity they have something big they want to tell you because that's the, the last card out all right or maybe you have something big you want to tell somebody keep in mind energies also can reverse so okay so you have this world card and this hierophant and the nine of pentacles so this is specifically a marriage card is the hierophant you know sitting down and doing vows and saying vows in front of in an official capacity in front of um a member of the clergy or the higher institution or the government all right that could be also going down to the justice of the peace somebody wants to close out a chapter of you being single and put and and lock it down honey they want to lock it down wow aquarius and they have to tell you they're gonna tell you this they're gonna tell you this after you get all these gifts and all these wonderful things they're gonna tell you you're finally getting the recognition you deserve i mean can we just end the reading right there like dang I, what else is there well let's see let's see so this is the gilded tarot by uh chiro marchetti all right about the sun please Right by the sun, please. Right by the sun. Yeah, you guys can't believe it. You guys have a lot of um, energy where you just can't believe this is happening. Like, that's great. That's great. Or if you haven't felt this yet, you're about to be so shocked. Because I see some of you are just like, you know what? It's all good. I'm going to just sit here and do me like I've always been doing and you know whatever happens happens i can build up my own life for my myself and then bam here comes i to put you on a display and you're just like it's almost like you're in disbelief you're almost sad about it because you're like wait you're mourning your singlehood <laughs> yeah you know it's over clarify the six of wands please clarify the six of wands all right i came in reverse all right just keep that clarify the four of cups please clarify the four, four of cups please the four of cups. Alright. Yeah. Some of these are reverse, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I straighten these cards. I always put them upright. So if they come in reverse, I read them as reverse because I put them upright before I start shuffling. Um 
Let me clarify this last view and then we'll talk. Clarify the wheel, please. Clarify the wheel, please. Clarify the wheel, please. Even though the wheel has been clarified. Clarify the wheel, please. Uh, Y'all want to talk? You want to talk or what? Clarify the wheel, please. Clarify the wheel, please. Clarify the wheel. I think that might be it. I'm not going to force it. One more try. Clarify the wheel, please. Oh, there we go. World. Oh, we got double confirmation right there. And at the bottom of the deck, you have Knight of Pentacles. I think that's you guys. All right. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow, a very slow moving energy, a very indis. I call him indecisive because basically, uh, why the hell would you be slow if you know you want to bring somebody a pentacle, a freaking pentacle, right? A whole freaking pentacle. A pentacle is like money, stability, something heavy you can hold. Like it's basically like a token of their affection. That means like, your mind and your mind. Why would you be slow about it if you knew that you wanted to give it to somebody? Uh. So, I mean, supposedly he's just sincere and he's taking his time because he just... No, you're slow because you're indecisive. Okay, and that's you. Because this person is not slow. I, it's exactly what I said. It's exactly what I got in these cards. And I'll tell you right now. The sun. It's clarified by the knight of wands. Okay, the Knight of Wands might be, a, if he's not just as fast as the Knight of Swords, he's faster. Because the Knight of Swords comes in to tell you some long talk about his truth, not the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is coming in to give you that wand right away, to give you that passion, and to, to light, your, light your behind up and tell you how much they care, how much they want to be with you. Like, I don't know if you've ever dealt with the Knight of Wands. It could be um, fire energy. you got a lot of fire here. So, honestly, this is a screaming Leo, just so you know. Um, I don't really tell people the signs so much because... It doesn't really ring true with a reading of this many people, but if it does, just so you know, Leo. Uh, so yeah, so this Knight of Wands, he comes in f quick, fast, in a hurry. When he wants something, he goes after it. He's going to tell you. This is the kind of guy where you can be like, oh, I think I like you. Really? I like you too. I've always liked you. You want to go out on a date right now? Like, that's kind of the Knight of Wands, right? And so right now we're seeing that this the Knight of Wands has realized that you are where happiness sits. That's it. You, the he is attracted to this fire burning he is attracted to it he is being burnt by how hot and warm you are <laughs> this does not sound right at all he is being he is, it's being exposed it's being illuminated the sun is also illumination that this is where he's going to find a family this is where he's going to find a serious commitment this is where he's going to find a long this is abundance to the highest degree so if anybody is coming to this reading looking for a yes or no answer the answer is yes with the sun all right first card out i mean seriously the first card y'all got that flew out is the sun i mean you do we we just stopped the reading there like fuck yes do it now what are you waiting for if if somebody didn't come at you like that you came at them like that but for the purposes of not going too crazy and getting confused in this reading i'm gonna say that it's another person okay so now we have the nine of swords and the nine of pentacles okay so you're almost getting there almost getting there you're almost getting there you're getting there you're approaching you're approaching the point where you're ready to start talking about commitment or start talking about where this is going um the nine of swords is you're worrying you're thinking about this a whole lot okay a whole whole lot gemini energy back and forth back and forth like what the f should i do i'm single and mingling right now i'm stable right now should i really take a leap should i really get it going see this this card is is interesting this nine of swords it's anxious it's being anxious it's worrying it's thinking when you need to just kind of stop you're worrying about something that's not meant for you to be worried about it's also interesting because these swords it's like you have these three swords and these three swords and you have three of heartbreak three heart there that's heartbreak heartbreak crossed by more heartbreak but you're breaking your own heart why don't do that don't do that don't overthink it to the point where you're that's too much you have a good thing here you just can't believe it i know uh all right so you have the six of wands right the six of wands in the victory is clarified by the seven of pentacles in reverse somebody is no longer waiting to come in and tell you that you are the person they want to invest in 
you are the person they want to get with. They are no longer waiting to put you on a pedestal. They are no longer waiting. This could be where you are right now, actually, in your lives, or when you get this message. Um, they're no longer waiting to tell you how they feel. They're no longer waiting to tell you they want more with you. They're no longer waiting. This is also a marriage card um, in the traditional tarot. This is when the maiden is crowned with a crown of flowers on May Day. Uh, where she is no longer single. She is now betrothed and she's engaged. And so to celebrate it, the community parades her around on a horse with a flower crown, okay? So that's the six of wands. Who else would want to parade you around, honey, and tell them, every, tell everybody, that's my Aquarius, okay? That's, I'll put that ring on their finger, all right? Or that's what you want to do, all right? So we have four cups. So who's sad here? What is there to be sad about, guys? It's moving too fast. So, okay. Yeah, this four cups. I just want you to see it again because it's so cool. It's so cool, right? See how he's sitting down there sad, but there's all that going up there. If he would only look up and see what the crap is going on up there. Okay. So, so stuck in your head because... You're, you were at least you were stuck in your head because you're not sure if this person could fill all your it's moving too fast okay so this is what i'm getting from this right it's like you you have all these options or you had all these options and you're like if i choose this person i will have no more options okay and how do i know that this person is going to fulfill me emotionally how do i know if this person is going to make me happy they're moving so quickly and things are happening so fast that your head is literally spinning. Um, it could also be that this person is at a distance, okay? Because sometimes when cars are in reverse, it means they're just far away from you. So you might have to travel towards them, okay? But it's like a lot of movement here, a whole lot of movement to somebody who feel, who makes you happy, who um, you see they see a family with you and they want to come towards you or you want to go towards them and they're sure about it they're sure that they want you to drop things mm, that's it this person might want you to drop your options they want you to drop maybe you have a stable life somewhere and they want you to move towards them all right or and and you just you don't know if you're ready for that but it's good right it's an opportunity, right? So then we have the wheel. The wheel is here clarified again by the Hierophant, the Ace of Swords, and the world twice, okay? So that means, like, this could be, having, this could be somebody you've known for two years, all right? Um, also, this is somebody who you have learned things. Like, you have had, you've trusted, you've, you've been honest with yourself, you've who got here the world the hierophant yeah the world yeah you've learned lessons okay the world is all about lessons um it's saturn so basically it's like you've learned over the course of time that you you don't want to miss this opportunity i think that's why the world is here twice okay so you got this wheel of fortune which is a good luck this good opportunity is clarified by the world twice okay you might have given up on this person in the past and here they come again you're not going to get this chance again you're not you gotta have faith you gotta have faith here with the hierophant all right you've got to trust the things that you gotta you gotta get to the bottom of this use the truth sword okay this also could be closing out but like i don't see that i see you're closing out one chapter and going to a new chapter because you got the world twice here and you're not and this could be somebody like again i said you had a chance before don't blow it very nice very nice aquarius oh my gosh wait i didn't even look at the bottom of the deck. yeah ten of wands ten of wands was at the bottom of this deck ten of wands okay the energy of ten of wands is i'll hold it up again the energy of ten of wands is literally having to drop some of the burdens that you have on you and responsibilities in order to be able to function properly or to be able to complete something okay so you need to stop worrying 
you're worrying too much you're putting you're overburdening yourself with worry about this because it seems like it's too good to be true it seems like you won't be able to travel with this person it seems like you won't be able to you're doing too much just give it a try you either want to be happy or you don't so I mean, it looks like they make you happy. You can't deny that. It looks like the sex is bomb as F, too. Because, look, you got an explosion here, honey. This this knight is very phallic. This wand, he's the play. Some guys can be the player. So maybe he thought he was a player in the past. He ain't a player anymore, though. Just as fast as they come in, they leave, right? But not this one, because he sees this explosion. So, I mean, it could be, like, really incredible. Maybe you thought that's all it was, the connection was. But it's not. They make you happy. They make you happy. And it looks like the world, it changes to marriage. This literally goes from the Knight of Wands, which is the player card, the player card, to them wanting to offer you the world, and then the Hierophant, which is they want to marry you. And they have, a, they have a serious truth to tell you with this truth sword. Or you them, remember? Energy's complete. So let's get a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle. All right? Thank you for being here, Aquarius. I love reading the cards for you all i might start doing extended soon so stay tuned milk and honey i can't i don't think it gets any better than this this is literally when you've reached the point all right so this is milk and honey a 51 that um is a six in numerology a six is balance and gifts harmony and it brings gifts it's the gift of harmony okay or the gift of balance in a certain part of your life in this case it's a love reading it will be love a balance getting just do getting equal give and take Getting what you've always deserved. This is milk and honey. Remember I said this person seems like they might be wealthy or something? This is like you have reached a place where everything is great. This is like literally milk and honey is basically like the fruit of, of the harvest. It's like the harvest season. September is the harvest season, actually. Uh, so maybe this will happen in September. Uh, but yeah, it basically means like you get to now enjoy the milk and the honey after all of the strife. You get to sit down and you get to enjoy this, enjoy the 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 delights that this world has to offer that you couldn't, you haven't been afforded in the past. So let's get some uh, romance angels. Wow, Aquarius. Can I be an Aquarius today? That's not your card because we didn't even ask a question. Can I be an Aquarius today? That was children, by the way. So maybe you have children and your love life is being affected by children. But let's ask first. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. And one more shuffle. guys i'm scandalous today i don't know why literally i just got on instagram one more shuffle and you know they're like oh post this post from two years ago and i had this shirt on i'm like i haven't worn that shirt in so long oh, here it is now all right let's cut the deck so what does the what do the romance angels have to say about this connection and what is the best advice for aquarius Wow, this could be the one and one more for Aquarius. Okay. Trust. What did we say? Yeah, gotta love this. All right, so remember we got milk and honey, right? So that is enjoy, enjoy this, enjoy this, enjoy it um and then trust that this could be the one guys this could be the one take that in this could be the one this could be the one okay it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek and then this one says this situation is calling for you to have trust okay do we need to say anything else i mean i think we've said it all already you can't believe it you cannot believe it it's true it's real the sun is here okay sun is here i love you beautiful aquarius i wish you the best i'm sending you all of my positive energy for this okay i need you to have a victory here and it's okay if you don't i mean but you do you freaking do i'm just gonna put it out there again you freaking do you have this, the ace of swords and the sun and the six of wands i'm just done i'm done with you love you guys ah!